Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about GPT-5. This language model just dropped a few hours ago from OpenAI. In their demo, they were using cursor to build an application. But in this particular demo, I'm going to show you how to do what they were doing using VS Code. So I have the GitHub Copilot extension and we're going to be using that uh, to run uh, VS Code in agent mode for a particular application that I have designed. So I, I, I wrote the requirements for this application and if you follow along, you would see uh, the requirements here. So what we're trying to accomplish is a REST API application that is created with Fast API. I'm going to specify the dependencies and the version of the dependencies that I want to use. And then I'm going to describe how the application needs to function. So basically, it needs to be a REST API that can create records, list all the records in, in the database. It can also modify records and remove records from the database. So that is what we are trying to accomplish by creating uh, this application. Um, the PRD is available here if you want to take a look. Um, and it is very straightforward. So we have the versions of the dependency that we need to use Pydantic 2.1.7 the latest version fast api and azure cosmos db and all of this is going to be done in python the requirements are specified the example data structure that we're going to be adding to cosmos db is also specified so every record will have an id first name last name and age i just want to make sure that this language model is able to accomplish this task so I did um, a, a trial run earlier on before I started the, the video recording. With GPT 4.1, it took 11 minutes to create it and it did not work. So I had to stop the, 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 the generation. Then I tried with um, Claude, um, Claude Sonnet. So if you, open, if you open it, you should be able to see the different, if you start a new chart, you should be able to see the different uh, languages, the, the different language models that are available. So you can see Claude uh, Sonnet 4. You can also see uh, Gem Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can also see GPT-5 here. So I tried earlier with another machine and I was using um, GPT-4 and um, it took 11 minutes to run and that was not, that was not good. I tried with um, Claude Sonnet. It took about eight minutes and 52 seconds, so almost nine minutes to complete. And then I tried with GPT-5, uh, the preview version that is available here in VS Code. And this took just three minutes and three seconds to complete the task, so just around three minutes. So that's like about 35% or thereabout of the time it took Claude Sonnet 4 to complete it and almost like 20% um, of what it took uh, GPT-4 um, to complete, but um, it did not, it did not work. So it had, it had errors. So that's what we did. And in, in this particular uh, branch, I have the code that was generated by Claude Sonnet. So we can take a look at it here and we see uh, the unit test that was created you know, it's very, very uh, verbose and it has a lot of stuff. But if you switch to the one that was done by GPT-5, it is very clean and very straightforward. It took less time and the quality of the unit test was much more straightforward and you can read it and actually understand uh, at a quick glance what is happening compared to the one that was done um, by uh, Claude Sonnet. So that was what I observed. Let's take a look and see how you would do this. So if you want to follow along with me, you can, you can head out um, to this repo, clone the, the repo, and then follow along with this practice that I'm going to be doing. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to do this together. So we're going to be using the GPT-5 preview version. Let's see what branch we are on. We are on the main branch, okay? Now, I'm gonna ask it to go ahead and generate the REST API application that is 
specified in the prd.md. So generate the REST API application using the requirements, using the requirements specified in the, in the prd.md file. I'm gonna have my timer ready to go again. So just to go over the numbers again, um, Cloud Sonnet 4 was eight minutes, 52 seconds. Uh, GPT-5 in the previous run was three minutes and three seconds. So I'm gonna start this and see how long it's gonna take it to complete. So let's go. So the timer has started. It is um, now working. Okay. Okay, so I've started the timer now. Let's take a look at what is happening. So it is reading the existing uh, project to see what needs to be done. It is also taking a look at the validation HTTP file that I created. Now that file was created so that when it's done, we can do our unit testing um, to verify that everything that I'm looking for is working fine. Some new files have been added. So far we are 45 seconds into the, into the code generation. So some new files have been added. We're approaching the one minute mark now. So if you wanna follow along, the link will be in the description and you can take a look so it found an, an error. It is removing the error. Yes, install dependencies. Okay, so it's installing UVCon. So we had one, one minute 37. It is, it is trying to find, I believe Python, but something is not, it's not working. So let's see, we are pushing the two minute mark now. So it is refactoring the API to use it another dependency. Okay. Um, it looks like it's creating a unit test now. It checked it. It's executing the test. So we're now at two minutes and 45 seconds. It's still working. We are at the three minute mark. It's still working. So it looks like it's done. So that was three minutes and 13 seconds. So the first run for this took three minutes and three seconds, the second one took three minutes and 13 seconds. So let us see if the code actually does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these changes. Um, I don't wanna generate any Docker file. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the, the code and see how we're gonna test it. So now we are done with the with the vibe coding. Let's take a look at the, the testing. So if you come over here, you should be able to 
take a look at the validation HTTP file. So right now, if you click on, so there's a particular REST API uh, extension that you need for this. So if you if you head over here, you would see the REST API extension, the REST client. So you need to install this REST client by um, Houchia uh, Mao, and that's what I'm using to do this testing. So let's send a, send a request and see what happens. Okay, it says that it was rejected because the service is not running. So let me go ahead and load my environment variable. So the environment variable here contains my Cosmos DB uh, setup. So if you look at the PRD, you would see that the Cosmos DB URL, the connection string, and the container and the database have to be defined as environment variables that will be loaded. Um, I cannot show you that because it contains uh, secrets and credentials. So we have loaded that environment variable. We're gonna do uv run main.py. So now the backend service is up and running. If you go to port 8000 in your local host, you should be able to see the service up and running. Okay, so far it looks like it looks like it has loaded. It has the get the customers listing, the creating a new customer record. And we're actually gonna verify this to make sure that it's working. So let's send a request to the health check and see what happens. So it says the status is okay, all right. Now I have I have a few records in database. Let's try to list it to see what happens. So we're listing it. It has three records. Okay. Let's now attempt to create a new. Let's try to create a new record. Okay. So I'm gonna add uh, Sam Altman to the database. Um, this Sam Altman is 17, so let's see. So when we do this post, it should add a new record. So it added this to the database. Now let's go back to list it and see what happens if that record will be present. So when we go to list it, it comes back. Okay, so, so far everything is working. Now let's try to retrieve the specific Sam Altman record. So to do this, you just have to modify, modify this, this customer ID variable, and then we can use that to retrieve our records. So if we come back here to retrieve it, let's see, it is able to retrieve a specific record. Now, if I want to, if I want to update it, so I'm gonna modify it to Sam, Sam uh, burn instead of Jason burn. Um, so let's try to update it, update, update it, and see what happens. So we send the request. It goes over there for that ID. Let's try to retrieve it and see. Yep, it works. So update works. Now let's try to do a partial update where we just modify the field, the age field, and set that to 99 years old. So let's do that and see if everything works. So we've updated that. Let's go back to retrieve it and see if it's retrieving. Yes, it is retrieving. The final test is to delete. So if we try send this request to delete it. Okay, let's try to retrieve it now. Now this should give me a 404 error. All right, customer not found. So all my test works and this was done in about three minutes or thereabout. So that concludes the, the code generation using this, this model. Um, it is very fast. It is much faster than uh, Cloud Sonnet 4. Um, it is faster than G the, the previous GPT version. So if you are doing any kind of uh, development with Cloud or with, um, uh, or with Cursor, I recommend you switch to this specific uh, version. So to switch, you just have to go in agent mode and then make sure that you have it available and you can switch to GPT-5. So this is the latest model and it works very well. The quality of the code that is created is, is, uh, is better. And if you come to my repo, you should be able to see 
um, I checked I checked in the, the the different version. So if you look at the test, this particular unit test here is much um, is is much sim is, is is very simple. It is not complicated at all compared to what uh, Claude Sonnet was uh, was creating. So everything is available for you to review um, in the two branches that I have here, the Claude Sonnet branch and the GPT-5 branch. You can take a look at it, use this to try and generate in your own environment, whether it's with uh, VS Code or with Cursor. But this particular demonstration, as you can see here, was done using uh, VS Code. So that's what I wanted to cover. In another uh, video, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and um, create an agent and then we'll run the agent using the the, the, the other GPT uh, language models and compare that to GPT-5 and see the reasoning ability, the reasoning, reasoning ability, the tool calling ability, the structured output of uh, uh, um, ability, the context window management and all those different things that are needed to build an AI agent. But this, is, this was just a quick run for us to compare and see how this language model uh, fares compare, comparing it to um, other language models that are available in your IDE. So that's everything I have for this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, this channel focuses on how we build AI agents in production on Microsoft Azure. And if you would like me to do uh, a deep dive into any of these topics, uh, put it in the comment here. Check out the other videos, share the channel, share the video with someone you think will benefit uh, from this. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for stopping by.